and we came back so to Zula's, which is this amazing like vegan vegetarian restaurant. Tons of smoothies and juices and like really, really yummy they options. Soups, they got soups burnt, salads. Yes. All vegetarian though. Amazing. So we're having so I'm having No, let me film. Sorry. So I'm having it's a chickpea burger. It's made out of chickpeas and different grains with a tofu herb spread and then some red pepper slaw and like little beets. No, this is like a tomato sauce. Oh, I thought that was a red pepper. Like ketchup. Oh, the red pepper slaw is on the burger burger. already. Mm -hmm. And then I have yummy ginger tea, ginger lemon tea. And I went with um, I went with the uh, veggie burger because I wanted to come and we'll get taste of both because that way we get some. But um, mine, mine has like a pesto on it. Uh, it's phenomenal. And they got a little flag here as you can see. Zula and Molly. Um, little carrot uh, beet uh, salad and some little uh, sweet potato fries. Which are phenomenal. And I got the uh, iced coffee. So. Look at the portion though, which I thought was really interesting. So this is our first like real like lunch here. Look how many fries they give you. Mm -hmm. I think you might have had a couple. I had two. But compared to like the United States, right. it's crazy, right? So you get six fries. So, One, two, three, four, six, seven, yeah, like seven fries. Yeah. So we're going to dig in, yep. and we're, they have Wi-Fi here, so we're going to get some work done. we got our computers, there's air conditioning. One hell of a glare. We got up this morning and had smoothies. We got to the beach, just went swimming in the Indian Ocean. It was such a magical morning. Can't wait to start the morning. Now we're going to have a little lunch and get some work done, and um, that's it for now. It's so awesome. This place is a gem, dude. Zula. Gem. Bali. Yep. Check it out. Amazing. Awesome. So it's like 621, which we got to go, but um, I'm going to show you outside. I don't know if you can hear the roosters, but we didn't even need to set our alarm um, at 5 in the morning because the roosters were crowing, and that is actually, uh, they use those uh, to wake up early and get things done. And so um, they have what they call the uh, Kenang Siri, which are some of the offerings that they give um, to the Hindu gods to thank them for the peace that is in the world. Um, they do that every morning, and so they wake up early. These uh, roosters help them get up in the morning. Um, they get up, they make their offerings, and that is part of making these things by hand every day so that uh, they can give thanks to the Hindu gods for the peace in the world. So it's kind of cool like this is our little spot and we are about to head out. So we will see you soon. Seeing Gilly T on the boat, the fast boat. Simnia. The first place we stayed, um, and we'll just, I'll say this really quickly, we didn't spend a whole lot of time there. That was kind of our resting place. Um, we thought we'd need time to transition, that we'd be a little bit jet lagged, and so we just wanted a place to land. We landed here. We only had a couple days. We didn't really get to dive in fully. We just grazed the surface. But within these three days, these were kind of our biggest takeaways that if you ever visit, these were kind of some cool things that we did um, that you guys might enjoy too. So. Go. Okay. First, well, first we'll talk about. Sorry. First we'll talk about. I'll talk about the couple places that we ate in Sevenak yeah. before we get into like just the international stuff. Yeah. Um, Zula 
Zoo. which we pretty much ate at every single day. Mm -hmm. um, it's a vegan, vegetarian restaurant, which I absolutely love. It has tons of healthy options, uh, cold pressed juices, and all kinds Smoothies. of like, potions and different well, drinks. Well, you have to understand what potions okay, are. So I I call, what potions okay, are. so I call anything like um, apple cider vinegar, like elixirs, yeah, yeah, different things for different symptoms or whatever. If you're looking for energy or yeah. whatever, they have all kinds of yummy juices, they have smoothies, potions. yeah, um, salads, wraps, all kinds of amazing stuff. Everything is vegan, absolutely delicious. Aaron's not vegan; he absolutely I'm loved. I'm not either, but like uh, the food was great. No, I'm not vegan, and I'm also uh, a meat eater. And so, um, the chickpea, the chickpea burger, oh, the so veggie good. burger was phenomenal. Um, what's really cool is the portion sizes are smaller than the U.S. I thought I was going to be dying. Yeah. Um, I need to lose a couple pounds because I gained about 15 to 20 uh, since I've been home. So it was nice to uh, cut back on some cal uh, and you still eat really well. I felt very satiated. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, this place is a little bit more expensive. We will say that. Yes. Um, by, it was still cheaper than the U.S. Avi, but like for Bali standards, it was very expensive. They charged us like a 7% fee every single 10%. time. Ten percent. fee every single time we ate. So it was expensive, but if, if you're looking for a healthier option, this was this was a really good one. Yeah, so it was so, 10% tax and then a 5% service. Uh, and that kind of leads us right into... Well, we're going to continue with the restaurants and then we'll co yeah, we kind of go back to the sticking. Okay. Good. So another really delicious place that we went was Sushimi. I think I'm saying that right. Sushimi. It was a sushi place. That was really delicious, very affordable, and my favorite part is that they offered brown rice. Yes. And this is like legit brown rice, like from the patties, like straight from like the field. Oh, it was fresh. Court. It was delicious. It was good. And it, cheap. I was really impressed. It was cheaper than the our... Than we, and, and we ordered so much sushi that they were actually laughing at us. They thought it was for uh, both of us. Yeah. And we were like, no. I was we like, sweetheart, that's ordered. just for me. Like, yeah. Now she can order because like, I'm good now. And yeah. so the chef was actually laughing. Um, they do have one of the rotating conveyors that you can kind of take the stuff off. We actually ordered different stuff. Um, they did take one roll off the conveyor, which is fine because they're constantly like updating it. And, and, and it was phenomenal. It was Great. fresh. It was delicious. Yeah, it was. Um, if you're looking for sushi, that was a good one. Um, the other one was... The Taco Beach. Yeah. Bar. Um, we didn't go, but... We didn't go, but we heard a lot, and I did a lot of reading, and it is the only uh, American-owned restaurant in Bali. Mm -hmm. um, is what they said uh, and so they just do a cool spin on tacos they have phenomenal margaritas uh, they have great deals um, it just seemed like a really cool place to go uh, we missed out on that but um, I would definitely go back yeah. uh, based off of what I read and, and they also had like vegetarian options which again like I was looking for those because I don't always like to eat meat and they had a lot of awesome vegetarian yeah. tacos it was very Balinese like taco kind of mixes it was cool yeah it looked Fun. great so check that out if you get a chance yeah. and then down at the beach there's tons of amazing beach bars the food not so great but the, there's tons of bars with drinks and these beanbag chairs that you go, you sit out, you're literally on the sand, you're overlooking the ocean. There's servers there serving you drinks and everywhere play live music. Which is phenomenal. And these, the these people were good too. Yeah. This was not like Bobo stuff. This, no. They were phenomenal musicians, great voices, playing the, the best songs that you only wish American bars would play. Seriously. Um, and like it's, old school it's stuff all too. All the classics. Yeah. And they put their own spin on it, and it was phenomenal. Yeah. So you would just go from different place to different place. You can't go wrong. Like, we just wrong. went pretty much, like, where we like the song, because all the bars are the same, and they're all connected, and, like, all the chairs are connected, so you kind of just go whatever you're feeling. Really awesome. Yeah, um, yeah we went with what music we were feeling at yeah. the time. They were playing some live music. It was great. Uh, there was a DJ. We didn't go there. Um, but, you know, Kim did hit on it. Cinemiac, what we noticed, again, by U.S. standards, it's not as... Actually, it was kind of in comparison, to be honest with you. Um, if you really look at it... No, it was way cheaper than I mean, the it, States. It's but cheaper than the States, was expensive. Then, like, No, it was way cheaper than the States. I mean, our meals were like $12, which is a lot for Bali, but it wasn't for... Yeah, but $12 is still kind of... Ex I mean, that's still what we pay... 
12 to no. $15. For instance, we went and had sushi and we ordered like everything off the menu and it was $28. No, so the sushi we, was cheap. We always spend like $150 yeah. on sushi. But then so. you get our chickpea burger and stuff like that. That, place that was, was like $40. And so that's what we usually spend in like Florida. But, you know, we lived on the West Coast and so those prices are a little different. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, anyway. Um, Basically, Seminyak is a little bit touristy. It's actually mm -hmm. very touristy. It's in southern Extreme. Bali. It's where all the Australians go to, like, do spring break and holidays. There's a lot of families there. So it's definitely going to be more expensive, and it's going to be crowded. It's going to be a little bit crazy. I think it's definitely something fun to go see and check out. I wouldn't want to spend any more time there than no. we did. It was the perfect amount of time. Check out the beach bars, hang out, and then, like, get out of there, really. Yeah, um, there was oh. this Frankenstein place. It was an Australian. Uh, I think he owned it. Uh, he talked to us, and then he was, like, the MC. Um, Is that I don't know. It could be. Uh, they do a lot of, like, it's kind of funky. Like, they serve drinks out of, like, IV bags, and they do, like, Frankenstein stuff, and they do, they have dancing, and then they have an adult show. They have three sets, a uh, band, um, uh, dancers, and that's the family one, and then it goes into an adult-only show. It's like a cabaret show. It's pretty cool. Um, a lot of fun, I guess. It's kind of cheesy fun, but uh, it was a cool. It's place. like entertaining. Yeah, like, go yeah. grab a drink, check out yeah, the show. It's cool. It's cool. And another thing that I wanted to add is like all the bars are all open, which is yeah. really cool. It's like open and airy, so you can hear the music from the street. Like you're not closed off, and they're all just like. Just, yeah, open. Just, yeah. it was really, it was, they're all, like, cool vibes. So, you really can't go wrong there. The Definitely roads are crazy. No there's, there's no driving, like, there's no stop signs. There's no stop lights uh, in the little, in the actual back roads of the town. Um, and so, that was a little crazy. The, talks, the taxi cabs will honk at you all the time. And that's how they say, like, hey, I want you to come yeah. ride um, with me. Uh, <laughs> I want you to come ride with uh, me. They, they do mess with you. They're not bad. Uh, you know, boss, boss, boss. Come, come check this out. Yeah. Um, one thing we did not talk about is uh, everything is negotiable. Yeah. Um, everything, everything, everything uh, we thought we were going to be bad at it. Come to find out we are bad we're ass actually at really it. really amazing, um, I yeah. have to say. So basically, like, for instance, you have to pay for chairs to sit at the beach. Um, so Kim and I went, and it was the price that he quoted us was one chair for one hour was 50,000 rupiah, which is about, honestly... What, like four dollars? Yeah, like four ish dollars. It would be like four bucks. So, I mean, again, looking at it, four bucks, whatever. But that's but still a rep. Still a rep. So, then that would have been 100 rupiah for one hour, which would have been seven dollars for two chairs. What else? Kim yeah. negotiated them down to 50 for, for two, two chairs hours. and two hours. The, the key is, is that you, you basically, whatever they offer, you want to you wanna say half. Or you want to say, for instance, we're a couple, so I'll usually say two for that price, right? So if they say, however, oh, this is just in Indonesia, I don't know about anywhere else, but what we've learned in Bali is you cut it in half, and we actually went even lower than half in some places. Mm -hmm. You just have to be willing to walk away, and that's what we did. We're like, sorry, we're going to go next door and like get it for cheaper, and they're like, okay, okay, we give it to you. You come back, you come back, because they got <laughs> They all want to like make money and they're all out there hustling and everybody's got the same stuff and so you just, um, you have to be willing to walk away and you have to really get down and dirty and know that half is a good amount to say like to negotiate with them. So, right. that was and there's also learning. there's also some times guys where you're just like, you know what, I really don't care. Um, I'm not going to negotiate. Give them an extra dollar. I'll give them an extra dollar. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, you're like literally negotiating for like a dollar. A dollar or two. But in the end, it adds up. It's just kind of a... <coughs> the principle. It's, it's, it's a fun skill to learn. It's fun to practice. And honestly, go into it with a smile. They're not trying yeah. to rip you off. They're trying to make a dollar. They're trying to earn money. That's how they do it. Yeah. Have a smile. It goes over much better uh, when you walk in there and you smile and you kind of like, you know what, like, yeah. I'll take that for 50. Okay, like, thank you very much. It was a pleasure, blah, blah, blah. Walk away. Bus, bus, bus. Come back. Yes, absolutely. Let's, let's you know. Yeah, we'll give so it to you. It's all in good fun. It's, it's, it's great. And it's such a, it was a great experience. Yeah. And well, and I think for us too, if you think you're not a good negotiator, which we thought we were hands down the worst, like, we're both like when people are like oh that's twenty dollars like okay like we never negotiate so this has been a great learning experience for us and it's given us more confident just confidence to just kind of like say what we want and go for it and 
Um, it's been great. Absolutely. So, what, I mean, what do you want? Yeah, so I was going to say one more thing. Go ahead. Um, another thing to be mindful of is anywhere you go eat or mm-hmm. drink, most of the time, what we have learned, oh, so you're yeah. saying, there, there's a service fee. Mm-hmm. So check your receipt, but always leave you the receipt. Nine times out of ten, there's a service fee. That service fee is technically tip. Um, it's not standard to tip in Indonesia. It is is basically your preference. If you want to go a little bit above and beyond, you can. They, of course, they appreciate it and they welcome it. But it's not an op- you're not obligated to tip. But that tax at the end, this is is their tip. Yeah. So. And so, like, for instance, at the restaurants, um, I would tip, like, again, if you're in Indonesia, this is all going to change. Yeah, this is, we're talking about Bali. Based yeah. off of Bali and Simniak. Um, but uh, it would be, like, one to two thousand rupiah uh, for, like, a waiter. Um, it would be ten thousand to twenty thousand uh, for, like, a driver or a massage or something like that. Um, Which is less is, than a dollar. It's less than a dollar. So, basically, like... Thirteen thousand, like thirteen three. Thirteen thousand. Three hundred ish is one American. Is one American dollar. Into perspective. Right. So you just know. Um, so that was one thing that we wanted to figure out. So we googled it and we asked some people and stuff like that with tipping, because um, that was a big thing for us. Because uh, we didn't want to be those people. Um, I think that really covers everything. Yeah, that's um, been a lot. There was a lot. This has been a magical journey, guys. Um, already. Um, we've kicked it off. Uh, we're trying to get into a groove right now. So, um, yeah, we got a lot more of these coming at you. Yeah. So we hope this was helpful and fun and, um, leave a comment. Let us know like anything you'd like to know or hear from us or things you want us to talk about. Um, we're totally open and, uh, we're excited. So I hope that this was helpful. And if it was helpful, please leave us a big thumbs up. Yes. Share it with your friends. And Tell them that, man, these two awesome people are traveling the globe. And yes. they're going to be bringing cool information to us. And we hope you liked our video leading up to this. But, and make uh, sure you subscribe. Yes, please subscribe you, to our channel. You'll you'll know when we put yeah. out fresh new videos every click week. The little, click the little bell beside it. And so it'll be like, bing, Kim and Aaron got an amazing iconic. video. I want to watch it. You'll watch it. You'll thumbs up it. And it'll be amazing. And we'll learn how fun together. That's right. Okay. Bye, y'all. See you next week.